Push dance. Good morning. Good morning. We have just checked out and we are now going to get some breakfast. Can you spot the dog? This will be our third accommodation in Austria and uh, yeah, it's not that bad moving, it's really great. And the reason why we're leaving this time is because the Wi-Fi is horrific. doesn't actually work. There's my favorite store. This is not my favorite store. It's closed. It's closed and I'm hungry. <laughs> You're oh hangry. Gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to go into the inner city. Turn right. One more stop. We've got a nice little kitchen here to my left, so hopefully we'll do some cooking, maybe a um, table over here that can seat the two of us. We don't drink coffee, but hey, it's got an espresso machine. That's an upgrade. Here we've got our lounge, which actually, this is a four sleeper, which can be turned into a bed. We're going to take you now up to the mezzanine, where is our humble abode. Over here is our bed that we'll be sleeping in tonight. We're on our way to hunt down some food because everything is closed on Sundays. It is half past 12 and we still have not had breakfast. I don't even know why they don't open for half a day at least so people like us could get some food. <laughs> so yeah, so we don't become hangry. So they said there is one there's one supermarket open just down the about a K out about a train station out or something like that so we're walking there now hopefully you can find some decent food and uh, if not McDonald's it is <sighs> McDonald's Gosh, okay <laughs> McDonald's it is <laughs> even the Asian supermarket is closed these guys are not real Asians we found it they said it's in this thing called up there must be a supermarket in there because it's so big. It's a villa plus inside there. Nick is so excited. <laughs> it's so freaking hard to find this villa plus. Man, we've been walking around for five minutes already. This mall is huge. We have settled for McDonald's. Finally, some food. Actually, super. The supermarket wasn't open. My favorite shop is closed on a Sunday. Everywhere. Every shop is closed on a Sunday. So, we've just finished lunch or brunch or breakfast. So we are now on our way to find a supermarket. The Airbnb host uh, sent us a picture because uh, we couldn't find it. So we are going to go see if we can hunt this place down. We found the supermarket. <laughs> it's actually a villa and not the one that the Airbnb host recommended. This is so cool. Some kind of parade happening. Times is running to check it out. So we thought it was a festival, 
got so excited, there was music, and we were like, woohoo, we found a parade. But it actually wasn't, it was an anti-vaccination crew. Rally. So, yeah, it wasn't as, as exciting as we thought it would be. We have just made it to the park. Oh, it's a Welsh bath. Park. It's a park that leads to the Scrones Palace. <laughs> uh, you'll see what we mean when we get there. We're gonna put the description below. Yep, we're gonna walk there now. Sam's, are we there yet? Almost. I think it's about 700 meters. Okay. Here comes Tams from recording random people. Why are you so happy? I'm just stalking people. <laughs> and they like, it's like so happy. That's exactly what I said to them. You're stalking people. <laughs> Tams, are we there yet? 300 meters. Dancing in the city lights, city lights. Ain't it ready? Gonna be no better time. Mm. We're feeling high, and you know we got a good flow. We have made it to Scrone's Palace. It's a very nice palace. It's a bit too big for me. I don't know. Would you like to stay in there? <laughs> I definitely wouldn't want to clean it. <laughs> Apparently there's a garden at the back. I don't know if we're allowed to enter it, but hold thumbs. We're feeling high and you know we got a good flow. And there ain't no one gonna tell us no, tell us no. No, 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 let's go. No hesitating. Guys, chicks, there's a rainbow there. We gotta shake, we gotta get up on the elevator. We're on our way back. Uh, we just finished with the garden at the back of the palace. It's actually a very nice garden. Only if you come in summer though, because this one will be green and it'll be more lush and very beautiful. Yep, and then we try to get some different type of shots and uh, we couldn't really time the camera too well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the photos. And there ain't no one gonna tell us no, tell us no. No, 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 let's go! Oh my word! We just red dot by the entrance. Look how big this place is. Oh, oh, let's go, 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 let's go! The sky is lit and it's gonna be a good night. We thought we were going home, but we found out we only did a quarter of the palace. So now we're gonna go up that hill and hopefully find a good spot for the sunset. This man is yours if it makes you feel alright. I wanna dance, I can feel it in my bones now. Oh, feel the pull, oh, come on, let your body go. So, 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 let's go. This 2k walk has turned into a mini hike. At the steep incline we're walking on now, that zigzag, zigzags all the way to the top. Yep. So while we're waiting for the sunset, Tams was reading up some interesting facts about this place and she thought she would share with you. So basically, the Palace and Gardens of Scrumburn is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the palace itself houses 1,441 rooms. That's insane. And the vast garden spans over 300 years. So it's constantly showing different reflections of people's tastes and likes. And there's so many different gardens, it's absolutely stunning. The view 
view from the top is actually amazing. Uh, it's definitely worth the hike up. The hike actually isn't that bad. Um, it's just I don't. We weren't mentally prepared for it. Uh, we actually were thinking we'll only do it. I thought it was only going to be a 2k walk here. We'll take some B-roll, look at the nice palace, and then go home. But it actually turned into an 8k hike walk. <laughs> and the reason why we we weren't prepared for it is because we don't have any snacks, and I was hungry. <laughs> but now we're on our way back, and uh, we're definitely not taking any more detours. Finally made it back home. That was a much longer walk back than I thought. Mm -hmm. I think it was a 5k walk back. Yeah. But in the end, the 2k walk was turned into a 14k walk. <laughs> so that was a long walk, but it was worth it. Yeah, uh, the palace is absolutely stunning. Now uh, we are just going to get some work done and then we're gonna call it a night. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Just had this old lady start screaming at us. In some foreign language. <laughs> Not sure what she said. It's the second time this old lady's been screaming at us. We're actually not sure. Maybe they're saying that. You look so sexy. <laughs> <laughs>